This is the Panasonic DMR ES10. <clears throat> this is a machine that I use in my VHS recording chain. It's pretty uh, popular in um, the video transfer circles because of the uh, line time based correction that is part of this unit, just um, the way it is. Being from the era when it was built, it does have um, issues with, um, and this is what I'll be fixing today, is the um, dried electrolytic capacitor. I see some particularly nasty examples here on these guys. Um, mostly on the um, power supply board. So we'll be replacing a few of uh, these guys, uh, a couple guys bulging. <coughs> if they look okay, I'm probably gonna leave them alone. Uh, there's another couple here on the main board, uh, this guy and this one hiding down here as well. So I'll be uh, replacing those and uh, should resolve the issues that I have with this unit, which is that um, it makes a high-pitched squealing noise when you apply power to it, which is always, um, yeah, really good. Okay, so this is um, where it lives in the setup. Um, you got know, VCR, obviously, um, not a terribly high-end model, um, but the Panasonic, uh, the mechanism inside is um, they're quite well regarded. Uh, Panasonic or JVC are probably the the two that you want to look out for, um, particularly um, the S video models. If you can find them, they are very rare, though. So, uh, and here's the uh, ES10. Uh, as I say, being used as a line uh, time-based corrector and being fed into the, uh, this is a, it's a Key West uh, Big Voodoo uh, full-frame uh, corrector and then uh, into the computer, so. Uh, yeah, so I guess I might actually just uh, show you a brief comparison of um, of the signal passed directly uh, into the capture and then, uh, and then using, uh, using these, so. Do that now, and the reason I haven't got any scans done lately is that I'm converting the scanner to be um, to work upright. So um, I'm going to get another piece of wood probably today actually, and um, build like a you know on a slight lean back um, so it's all counterbalanced, and then um, yeah, drill everything in. Um, yeah, everything's got uh, points where I can uh, yeah, put put uh, screws through because. Um, yeah, the, the um, hot glue is pretty strong, but uh, it's not going to hold up a full reel like, uh, like a couple of nuts and bolts will. So, And then I can tidy it all up and run it all through the back and have all the compute and the power and stuff on the back. So yeah, that's why there has not been any film scans lately. Right, so I've got the two files here. Uh, the left is the raw directly from the VCR and the right is through two devices. Um, I'm just going to play these, try and get them in as good a sync as I can, but um, yeah, it's not... So you can see, um, so first of all, you notice the flagging on the top left. Um, it, it's fixing the flagging, but uh, also um, it does do some minor um, like alignment along the left here. Um, you'll notice that's a lot flatter. Obviously the source is, is, is quite important as well, but um, and, and you do lose some color definition, that is that is a noted uh, issue, so but that can all be fixed in, in post processing, but but yeah. Um, I think that the there is a significant improvement and it does justify that you know the extra effort. Uh, the color can be brought back, it can be adjusted and stuff. I just haven't really looked at it lately. So yeah, that's um that's what that device does, and uh, yeah, well worth, if you do find one cheap, they are well worth hunting one down.